Hello everyone, Dustin Zane with Creating the Difference. We're back with another bowling ball review. We got that Primal Shock. So we're on the left side of the lane. Ron is throwing some shots for us today. So we're going to be able to take a look at what the Primal Shock can do. I think, in my personal opinion, this is one of the balls that I've been looking forward to most this year. And we'll talk about why here in a second. So in between shots, you can be wiping off the ball with a BAM pad just to get the oil off, give us as consistent of a reaction as possible. He went big four there, pinched a little in. But we'll get back to throwing some good shots. So let's talk about the Primal Shock. It has the... Impulse V2 Core. That was a good shot there. Impulse V2 Core. That was in the Primal Rage. And the cover is the Turmoil MFS cover from the Shock. Venom Shock. So this ball is nice and continuous as we can see on the lanes here. And just to give you a little bit more information. In 15 pounds the RG of this ball is 255. And the diff is 0 0.050 so symmetric core and the out-of-box finish is 4000 grit LSS so not super dull not super shiny right in the middle there but from what we're seeing here it's a strong piece lots of continuation and as we've seen out of that shot like the ball does not stop like it when it sees the friction, it picks up and keeps going. But the, the ball motion is nice and round. So this is going to be a good, stronger, continuous ball uh, to have in your bag. Tripping out the 510 there. Looked decent. Little, maybe a little further left at the break point. But still, nonetheless, looked pretty good. So today we're getting a new look, a left side, left-handed look from Ron here out of the new Motive Primal Shock. And he's going to continue throwing some shots here for us just to keep giving us a good look of what this ball can do. Looked like he really hit the release on that one, blended out the friction nice, and was able to give him 10 back. So I never personally had... A Primal Rage. I know that ball, um, amongst some guys that I'm friends with, uh, they were big fans of it. Big fans of it. Pretty sure one of the guys, uh, my best friend actually, shot like 850 or something with that ball. It was nuts. Um, but of course, the Venom Shock. Been in the line for a long time and is a trusted piece that one wasn't as far left but the speed was good but it definitely definitely picked up and went that's for sure but the venom shock i definitely slept on for a while never drilled one and then i drilled one about a year and a half ago and i've drilled three of them since so if that tells you anything i know i was missing out on it it's definitely a go-to so I'm pretty pretty excited to see this ball go down the lane in today's video. So with the ball reviews, we're bowling on Wall Street V2, which is the CTD Education Center house shot. If you're ever interested in coming to see us, getting a lesson, taking a course with us, head on over to ctdeducationcenter.com. Or you can go to ctdbowling.com and you can schedule a visit there. Ooh, flat 7 pin. Flat 7 pin. Still, the shape shape looked good. Um, but with flat 7 pins, I mean, or even flat corner pins, I mean, just making a slight adjustment uh, with your feet or with your eyes is is the way to go i mean personally um 
if it's me, I'll probably just move my feet one to the right because I'm right-handed to tighten the launch angle up a little bit and it should be good to go. I've heard people say half board moves. I, I don't I don't I'm not a fan of half board moves. I don't think they make sense. Um, that small of a margin. When you think about it, it's a half an inch. If you can walk within a half an inch every single time, first of all, that's impressive. Impressive, and more power to you if you can do that. I just. I don't think it's feasible to do half board moves. But anyways, that's not the point. Another shot with the primal shock after going with the six pin. Nice flush strike there. Again, super continuous piece. Stronger. Stronger ball motion. I mean, Ron's about 350, 375 for the rev rate. So not low, but definitely not high. Uh, right in the middle in terms of, of rev rate. So if this is if that's kind of how you throw it and how your rev rate is, this might be a good piece to look at. Um, I've seen I've seen a lot of higher rev guys throw this ball down the lane. It does look good, so I'm I'm excited for that. So I think this ball not only will probably at some point end up in my bag, but it also might end up in Ron's bag as well. So the primal shock that Ron is throwing here is laid out 40 by 4.5 by 30. It is a slight variation off of the normal layout that we usually use, which is 60 by 4 and 3 quarters by 30 degrees. But because it's a symmetric ball, the, only the last two numbers matter. So we're only off, a quarter inch off from the PAP to pin distance and the last angle is still the same so just a slight variation but not enough to truly matter we'll still get a a good idea of what this bowling ball can do out on the lanes so you're going to step up and make another shot here i i am liking what i'm seeing like this is this is really, really good ball motion. A little, little further left. Struck, though. I mean, as the, as the lane starts to develop, Ron is going to have to move further to the right. But it's still, like, as he's getting, getting to the right, it is recovering. So it's stronger, continuous, and it, it just keeps going. It doesn't want to stop. Now, when you're building an arsenal, like if you're looking to build an arsenal around this wall, that looked way too far left. So that one, that one didn't get it, get up the hill. Um, the last one is a little further right of that, and it made it, made it up. But uh, when you're looking to build an arsenal, if you're looking to add the primal shock to your bag, um, I personally don't see a reason not to have a venom shock and a primal shock in the bag. I think. The primal shock is stronger and strong enough to be able to show you a big enough difference. And that was squared up, moved further to the left just to give us a different angle with the ball going down the lane. And that's a good thing about these reviews. Like we can we can move around. We don't have to make the ball strike every single time. We want to actually get an idea of what this bowling ball can do going down the lane. But as I was saying. I think the primal shock and the venom shock are far enough apart to where I see no reason in, that you can't have both in the bag if you absolutely wanted to. Both look pretty good. Another shot squared up. Really, really rolled that one. Got that ball into the roll. And it looked decent. I'm checking right now, but I believe I'm checking the 
box finish of the Primal Rage. Um, now we're using some clutch bowling. So we'll be able to see the lines going down the lane, seeing what part of the lane Ron is playing. Yeah, so the, the Primal Rage came out of the box with 5,000 grit um, LSP, so laser scan polish. So Primal Rage came out of the box shiny. This ball comes out of the ball the box with the same finish as the Venom Shock. 4,000 grit. Ooh. Dirty 9-pin there. Dirty 9-pin. Yeah, so Primal Shock comes out of the box the same surface as the Venom Shock. Just to give you an idea of, you know, kind of where we're, what we're looking at here. Um, if I if I remember correctly, I believe the Primal Rage was more of the angular type shape um, and not super continuous. I could be wrong, um, but if if I if my memory serves me correctly, that's that's what it looked like. Uh, if you had a Primal Rage in the past, let us know down below. And if you're excited for the Primal Shock, give the video a like. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Lots of educational videos, lots of ball reviews. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. Ron's going to send us off with one shot here. Hopefully 10 back. And that'll be it. You can get the Primal Shock on ctdbowling.com. I am Dustin Zaner with Creating the Difference. Have a great day.